the cells, all the fucking gear, put all the fucking instruments on, started the engine and the backup ain't working. No fuel getting through. So no way am I going over that fire rope to engines. So fit the other engine sat on. Come down this morning after my engine failure yesterday. I've now changed my big blue and my big red engine that I've just done the electronics on. And um put that back in the middle and I put the other good engine on the back. So it's just a matter of now, this hasn't been run for two months. So it's just a matter of stirring it up and checking out I've got electronics right. I've, I've done them all. All new wiring, everything. So hopefully she should go. I'll let you know in a minute. I'll put the camera on, let you see me stirring her. Okay guys, here goes. The tide's in, the boat's moved over. I'm going to start this engine now. This is the first time it ain't been started for eight, nine, ten weeks. I've rebuilt it and fingers crossed. I primed it all, it's ready to go. float overflowing and I don't know why she didn't start she should have started by now but let's give it another go yeah. nope we're having no fun so I've got to check everything okay guys second go I just checked the plugs clean them not leave it wrong Okay guys, she fired. I just need to find out why she ain't keep running. Okay guys, it's the third attempt. I noticed when she was tipped up, there was fuel coming out of the float, so I checked the float, but she seems alright. Anyway, I'll clean the plugs again, let's see what's going to happen. This time, I'll pull the choke, I think. again well honestly starting to think it's the fuel not getting there I'm gonna check the plugs again both plugs are as dry as a bone so god knows what she fired on just then okay guys this is the fourth go go the only other thing I can think of is I had bloody big gaps on the plugs and while I had the engine up at the thing it said to put them down to one mil I'm going to change that now and put it back out of where it might be that okay guys try five cleaned I've opened the gaps and fingers crossed I don't think it will be that but I've got to try everything No. I know this engine is a waste of time keep pulling it, it's either going to go or it ain't. Okay. 
try six. I'm pulling a choke out because he used to like choke. No, no joy at all. So it don't look like I'm getting any sailing this year because I've only got five weeks. By the time I get another engine to go in there, the year's basically over. It'll be all end of September or the end of July, September will be in. So I just fucking give up. I'll still try it. I've got all day to get this going. Right guys, I've um, changed the old plugs over. I poured and poured and poured it. It's not even firing. So the only hope is now to take the plugs out, turn the fuel off, drain them out, and stir it from dry by putting petrol in the pots. But I'm going to have to wait for it to go cold. So let's do that. Well guys, it's a bit noisy but she started. All I did was disconnected that over with the plugs out to blow them out I put the plugs back in and started her she fired I cut her out I reconnected and she seems to be going okay now so I'll wait and see how it goes but she certainly seems all right I've got about an hour I can keep her running for so guys I primed her up I had that water that fuel leaking out the curb when she was tilted that's stopped now I think where the engine been Laying in curves, banging about, the float and the curve all gets knocked about and it needs to get up and running to get it pristine again. And like I tell everybody, once you've got an engine and it's upright like that, don't drain it out, just run it, leave the fuel in there, it ain't going anywhere, and she'll start every time, first time, every time. Just drain them out when you're going to move them. But anyway, she feels alright now, and I'm a nice cup of tea, and hopefully I've got an hour to leave her running. So, um, like I said, she seems all right now. She's pushing on the prop to level out. Um, I was going to start the other one to see what she starts like on the back, but I know she's going, so I'm not going to bother her. I'm just going to leave. I'll give you an update in a minute. I'll see how long it runs for. Okay, so I ran her for 20 minutes. And I still took over her. She was no trouble at all. So I pulled the choke, stole her. She's dead. I'm going to give her 20 minutes, half hour, before the side goes out and see what she restarts like. If she's back to her normal self, she's start, no trouble at all. Okay guys, I've come down, I've put the big engine in, I've started her, she was a pick to start. But now she's been on the back of the boat upright, got all her balances in. And she's running perfect. I've run her for half hour, another five minutes in a minute. There you go guys, I um... I left her for a quarter of an hour, restarted her, she started first pull without choke, which is to be expected this time of year. And now she's running great. I'll let her run as long as I can on this tide. And then I'll have to run. But today we've got punters here now. The doctor's on his boat at the end there. So uh, the beach is a bit full today. As I said, just surprised there's no um, jet skis here today. So there's only one jet ski here today, it's unbelievable. Never mind, I got her running. I think it's still sick over down a little bit. There she goes. Running over beautiful. So hopefully we solve that problem. And she's pumping. I'll get about just under five knots with this motor. So I don't know if I've got time to start that one now. Okay, I decided I would run this one. And she started on about the third pull, fourth pull. But it's awkward to pull on the back there because she's got all these bars in the way. But anyway, I've got a good pull. She started, I'll leave her running now. Because if you don't leave her running for at least 10 minutes, the salts that was in her from the last run don't get flushed out with just fresh water now. And you'll have two lots of salt build up. But now you're only have one. Anyway, there you go. It's all looking good. There you go, I had the same again. Bloody engine, when I dropped her over the side, it pulled the, the rope out, so she ran on the carburetor, entered her system right out, and I just had hell to get the system primed up again. 
is what I say, when you've got these engines running and they're staying that right, never ever drain the bastards out. Only drain them out when you've taken them away, but expect trouble starting and priming them next year. These two now will start every fucking time now they're running. So, take my word for it guys, and about all this fucking salt water, salt inside your engine, run the engine for 10 minutes every time you run it up, and this fresh, this fresh lot of water is going through it now will wash out the last lot of salt that built up in there. Mind you, when you stop to build another layer up, it'll just have one layer in there, not hundreds of layers. So anyway, there you go, I've both engines working now, make sure you learn all the tricks. We're getting them all tuned up and running yesterday, that's the big engine. He started second pull, choke on quarter, choke off, quarter she fired, she's been running for about 10 minutes now. But, uh, just wait to run that, I'm having a cup of tea, and then I'll run the second of the engine up. So just... Well, both the engines ran up, no trouble at all. I'll put all the bits and pieces away, the boat's all ready to go sailing now. Hopefully there's no, nothing to go wrong, so Saturday, out for a nice trip. Fingers crossed. Anyway, spend the rest of the day now um, sunbathing, all the punters up on the beach having a barbecue. My bit of beach is empty, I told you the bit I don't oil out to nobody. And there's a few punters over there. I think today you might find the sun is too strong. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode, guys, of Outboard Motors.